What's happening everyone? Hope everyone's doing great. Today we're going to be taking a look at an indie house, an upcoming indie house. It was uh, introduced in 2017. This is a brand new scent. I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So stay right there. It's coming up right now. All right, so the house we're going to be taking a look today is a house called January uh, Sense Project. And January Sense Project is a project of a writer slash painter and this particular guy, his name is John Beeble. He works for Fragantica. He's been writing for Fragantica since 2017. And the fragrance we're gonna be looking at today is Aid Rantler. This right here, Aid Rantler, is a 2017 release, a great green fougere fragrance. Let's get more into this fragrance in a minute, but first, let's tackle the presentation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the presentation of Andy Rentler. So this fragrance here, as you see, the box is very reminiscent of... What I like about these boxes, first and foremost, is that this is a glossy feel, much like the uh, Costume National boxes. You have your information here in the back about the scent itself, the company ingredients, and all that good stuff. This is, again, the January Sense Project box. And what I love about this scent also, you have this... Um, more dramatic feel to the scent. It's green and black and it's a painting. Uh, the art here is also a work of John Beeble. He actually put the work behind the boxes as well, which I think is really cool. Again, he put a lot of thought and work behind these fragrances with the concept, as far as you know, putting together the scents itself, the compositions. A self-taught you know, fragrance perfumer, which is always something that I admire because it takes a lot of hard work to put together something in quality uh, at that. So I'm really you know, happy with the presentation here. I love the box and the creativity behind it. The bottle's really cool looking as well. The cap is solid plastic and it gives you uh, almost like a, a melted ice cube, which is really cool. Uh, the sprayer here, let's take a quick look at the sprayer. Really nice distribution. As far as offering and sizes, this fragrance here is offered in the main size like you're seeing here, which is the 100 ml for $125. I'm gonna put the link down below where you can find this fragrance. And also I'll have a code for you so you guys can get a discount if you wish to pick up a bottle. Um, so the main size is 100 ml for $125, but they, they're they also offered, all three of them, Smolder Rose, uh, Sopernicu, as well as and a Rentler, they're all offered in 30 ml. These are all Eau de Parfum concentrations. The 30 ml is offered for $50, and you can get a packet of all three of them, 30 ml Eau de Parfum for $110, which is really, really cool. And also has some sample kits if you just want to try it out. Uh, I believe there's a couple different sample kits. You can get a $7 sample kit or a $15 sample kit. Again, I'm going to have all that stuff down in the description box so you guys can click away if you wish to try this house, which I do encourage you to do it. It's a breath of fresh air. It's something different and very unique. If you like, again, like this particular fragrance, let's get into it right now. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how much I like and what do I get from the scent. Let's go. So as you saw from the presentation, this is a very artsy type scent. Uh, if you like green aromatic fougere fragrances, you absolutely love this fragrance. When you first spray this fragrance, you're gonna be greeted with a blast of lavender, uh, kind of creamy lavender, really um, beautiful, fantastic, very um, approachable type lavender. If you like Pour Un Homme de Caron, you will love this fragrance. This is in the same vein. It's gonna have that 80s and 90s powerhouse of type lavender, especially if you like barbershop feel fragrances. This will be very similar to a barbershop feel fragrance with a modern twist. I love the Champaka here. He has some really amazing quality components that are extremely well blended and a very good performance with this fragrance. If you love green oak moss, um, you know, vetiver type scents like I do, you'll, you'll love this fragrance if you have the same taste I do. And if you like the barbershop feel lavender type fragrances, also check this one out, you'll not disappoint. So the lavender introduction here is front and center. It's gonna be greeting you for the first 30, 40 minutes, and then it's gonna to start to transition. You're gonna get the vetiver coming through with the oak moss. The green component here is very strong as well. And then you have all these little cool nuances with like the resinous champaka. You know, it's gonna give you a really unique feel to the fragrance, which I really, really enjoyed. This fragrance is a little bit balsamic and extremely aromatic. 
If you like Champaka Absolute from Tom Ford, it does not smell like that fragrance, but it's gonna dry down to really creamy, ambery Champaka with you know a musky green vetiver kind of nuance to it that's extremely pleasant and very appealing. This is a breath of fresh air again. I love what he did. John Beeble, kudos to you. Great composition. Very beautiful take on the Fougere aromatic type scents. And boy, does it last. Let's talk about performance next. So as far as projection, this pushes at an arm's length. You're gonna be getting easily, what I got from this fragrance was a two hour plus of a push, you know, and I do like three to four sprays. And as far as applications, I would not go more than three to four. This is a very, very strong fragrance. As far as longevity goes, you're gonna get 10 plus hours. I got nine and a half to 10 hours. I do spray my clothes. It lasts a whole day plus, you know, works day plus a great scent. As far as performance, you cannot beat this performance. It is quality for an indie scent. Again, I love it because the right amount of time. You could tell that John Beeble spent the right amount of time putting together the composition, the concept, and the blending. It's just superb. I think he took over a year to put together these, these three scents uh, that compose the January uh, scents project. So you could tell that he put enough time with these fragrances and projection as far as performance is beastly. It projects very well and lasts for a long time and the sillage is extremely good. You're gonna get a great sillage, you're gonna walk around the office or whatever you're wearing this fragrance and people will get the winds and whiffs in and out as you're coming into the door and outside and you know walking around. This leaves a very good scent trail. All right, let's talk about application, occasions, weather, and settings. I think this, as far as season and applications, I think this fragrance is, without a shadow of a doubt, a great signature scent. If you love those fougere type scent, those aromatic barbershop feel scents, this is for sure a signature scent worthy, something that you can wear anytime and everywhere. Um, all seasons, this is the Vivaldi of fragrances you can wear, spring, summer, fall, and winter. I think it's strong enough that you can get away with this. If you love the scent, wear it anytime, anywhere. Now, one thing I would tell you that the three scents I tried from this house, this one here is without a doubt the most masculine of the offerings. The other two are very unisex, but this one here is a little more masculine, a little bit robust. So I think um, very green, very fougere type scent. Again, anyone can wear it, but I think this is leaning more the masculine side of the spectrum with all three of the offerings. But again, you can wear this all year round, any season. Uh, casual dress or dress it up, dress it down, this thing will do perfect. Uh, if you're looking for a new barbershop feel type of scent, you'll love this scent. Uh, as far as applications, I do two to four sprays. I don't do more than four because I know this is very powerful. It's not that it's gonna get cloying, but it will get strong. That initial blast, the lavender is extremely strong and you may be a little bit off-putting to people. So I do two to four max, um, no more than that because it is a very powerful scent. And again, you're gonna get your money's worth when it comes to performance. If you're looking for a really high performance barber shop type scent, if you're looking for a great new aromatic fougere type scent in your collection, you like the fragrance I mentioned before, you know, Pornom de Caron, you'll love this fragrance. Uh, I love Pornom de Caron, I like this more. So if you like those type scents, definitely give this one a shot. You're gonna get your money's worth with performance for sure. So three words that I would use to summarize this particular scent are, it's robust, it's classic, and it's extremely aromatic. So there you have it. That's my review on Eid Rentler. Have you guys tried this fragrance or any other fragrance from the House of January Scents Project? Please comment down below. Also, I'm gonna do a little something for you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a chance to win a brand new 100 ml bottle of a January Scents Project fragrance. So all you have to do is the following. Obviously, you have to be a subscriber to this channel. You're gonna write down in the comment section below what, you know, go to their website, check out what they have to offer, you know, go to Fragrantica, look and see what these three scents are all about, and let me know in the comment section below which of these three fragrances you would like to try and why. And one last thing I wanna ask you is to please choose between the Facebook January Scents Project page or their Instagram, which I'll have all the links down below. Go to the, either one of the two, and obviously like that page or follow that page. And put hashtag Max Forte giveaway. Again, all the information is gonna be in the description box for you guys to enter and participate to win a brand new bottle of your choice. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more content. Don't forget to enable notifications so you guys never miss out a content that I put out on this channel. Keep on spraying and I'll see you in the next one.